Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to work on number nine on the FTC general knowledge practice test. This is a math practice test for teachers preparing for uh, their teacher certification in Florida. It's a great problem number nine to review some core concepts in data analysis and statistics. So let's take a look. Number nine. And it's referring, there's a portion of the question that's not here, but it's referring to this uh, chart below. If the company would like to give the impression that its employees are highly paid, which salary statistics should be used? Now it gives you information on the employee's salaries. And then it says, A, minium, minimum, mode, median, or mean. So it's asking, you know, hey, these are the salaries. Which one of these statistical uh, evaluations would yield, you know, the greatest, the highest um, looking uh, salary? So what we're going to do is we're going to examine what these are, the mean, median, mode, and um, minimum of all these. All right. Now, data analysis and statistics have to do with it, uh, finding meaning in information. And that information we call data. Uh, a lot of times you find the data on a chart, like this one right here, an input-output chart. Sometimes it's in a pie chart. Sometimes it's in a graph, a bar chart, or stem and whiskers. And all those are different ways to uh, present the information, the data. And from there, we try and make some, um, inter we try and interpret it. The mean is a really helpful way of interpreting, you know, the average. It's, the mean is the average. It's, it's when you add up all the values, all the data points, and you divide by the set of data points that are here. So in this case, it would be the sum of all these divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 numbers. And this would get you the average salary. If we were to pay everyone equally, that would be the average. Uh, sometimes when you give, you're doing the average, you know, it doesn't have to be, but but sometimes it's, it's nice if you order them from least to greatest. This will definitely help you when figuring out the median. You don't have to do it here, but we could if we wanted to. So I'd have the 15, 15, 15, 15, the 40,000, 60,000, and the 120,000. Okay, 40,000 plus 60,000 gets you 100, plus the 120. And 15 plus 15 plus 15 gets you 60. Add these up, I get 280,000. That's one way to do it. Um, when I when I came up with this number, I I have it right now. It's in a, it's just right now written in thousands. So so there is extra zeros here. I just didn't include that because it wouldn't make enough. I didn't have enough room here. But you, I think that helps visualize these numbers a little bit better. Okay, so I got um, 280,000 divided by 7. How would I do that? Well, I could just imagine I'm dividing 28 by 7. And if I, if I do the 28 divided by 7, what's a, the greatest common factor? 7, right? 7 goes into 7 once, and 20, uh, 7 goes into 27. If I divide the 28, pardon me, 28 by 7, it goes in four times. So really, what I'm left with is 40,000 over 1. The average here is 40,000. Average salary. Okay, that's pretty good. What about the median? Well, the median, since we've already ordered our numbers from uh, lowest to greatest, the median is the middle number. So we're going to go through our data set and we're going to cross out the numbers, the first and the last, keep going until we come to the middle number, which is 15,000. If there was an even set of data points here, meaning there was like eight, there was eight numbers, like an extra 15, the middle number would then be the sum of the middle two numbers divided by two. All right. That only happens if you have an even set of data points. Then you add the middle two numbers, divide by two. All right, so the median here in this set is 15,000. The mode, the mode is the number that appears the most, which is, again, 15,000. 
and the minimum is the smallest number is 15,000. Okay, so the answer here is median. Number nine, um, you know, it's, it is a solid review of how to find the median of a, data, a set of numbers, the mean, and the mode. So, so don't, don't overlook this problem. It also points out that when you have extremes, like the 120,000, we've called an outlier because it's so far above the other numbers. When you have extremes in your data set, what tends to happen is that the extremes, whether they're high or low, they tend to, they tend to have a greater effect on the mean or the average. So that's important to know. There's all sorts of questions like that. They say, which one is affected more, uh, the mean or the median? Well, when you, have a, when you have a group of numbers just like this, and there's one number that really sticks out really far from the others, this number here would push the, uh, the mean, the average, up, way up, and throw off your uh, analysis of the set of numbers. Okay? All right. Keep that extra piece of information uh, handy. The answer here is D. Thank you so much, team, for watching. This is Chris Abram from GoMath. Have an amazing day. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.